Uh, it's actually great. It's great to we've had um, a few open days or open sessions where our fans have been able to come down during the school holiday period, and you know the support's been great, and we've been getting around them. So it's um, yeah, they're loud uh, and they've enjoyed training, and they all want uh, pairs of boots and all that kind of stuff. But um, uh, it's been great to see our supporters down here. Oh, we're, we're really excited for the season. Um, you know, the back, well, 2023 kind of what is what it was, but, um, you know, our expectation for next year is to build on that and to have a more, more of a consistent year. And we've had a really consistent kind of pre-season to date where we don't have many on the injured list. So our competitive hit out's been really good, which again is only going to build, build us in, um, you know, in kind of good stead for 2024. Uh, no, we addressed it. We addressed it at the time. You know, the senior players addressed it. Said, uh, you know, we, we're not accepting, um, you know, those hitouts anymore. And you know, particularly that GWS game was quite disappointing from a players' perspective, from a club perspective. But you know, all you can do is address it, learn from it, and move on. Um, and again, like I said, we're looking for that consistency throughout the year. Um, and then, yeah, they'll hold us in good stead. Uh, we don't look too much back on the past. We kind of, you know, finished off the year with our exits and all that kind of stuff. And now we're looking forward to 2024. Um, of course, we'll take some learnings out of the back end of the year, but also there's a lot of positive stuff throughout the year. Um, a couple of our big wins. So, um, you know, going into 2024, we're focusing on that and uh, what we can do there. Uh, you know, he's a great kid from the northern suburbs, same as me. Um, so I'm trying to take him under my wing a little bit, just teach him the ropes. But, you know, there's no denying his talent at all, but these things take time. And um, I'm pretty sure we will see him throughout the year. It might take a bit of time, it might not, we don't know. But, uh, yeah, he's an exciting player to kind of uh, play alongside. Oh, I think any player, like I said, we have a really healthy list. and. Um, you know, there's a really good competitive balance, you know, up forward in the midfield and down back. So what our round one team looks like will probably be different to our round six to our round 17. So um, whether he plays round one or not, doesn't really matter for us. But again, we want him to play his best footy. And once he does get to the AFL level to, to stay there. Uh, he's been building up slowly, so he had a bit of a hip issue, I think. So um, he's running past now, but he's, he's looking good. Same as Bucky, he's, uh, well, Benny Mackay. Um, he's been building up as well throughout the pre-season. Um, again, just looking forward to uh, getting them on to uh, our practice games coming up in the next few weeks. Oh, I think he'll play that probably high half forward midfield role, but yeah, again, there's no denying his talent at all. Um, he's been able to turn it on at training and, you know, again, if I'm playing forward and I'm leading out to him, I'm quite happy. He sees the game really well, has unbelievable skills and, you know, he's a really good acquisition for us. Jake is good. Yeah, he's another player that's kind of built up throughout pre-season. He, uh, had, I think he played the full 45 minutes of match play on Saturday. Uh, and again, like a number of us players, we're just um, you know kind of deloading today. But again, we're going to build up for Wednesday for our last kind of hit out before we have a four day break. Yeah, I think the same. Uh, so I didn't get much time really to work alongside Pete, um, you know, Harry, and even Nate this time. So again, this preseason is about building connection with those players, and uh, yeah, I'll be staying forward. Uh, for, you know, as long as I know, yeah. Playing forward. Oh, I think it's great. I think, um, you know, we only had a little bit of Pete last year. Uh, we missed him in the, you know, obviously the start of the year with the shoulder. But again, if we can build that connection, you've got, you guys have seen the highlights of Nate, but Harry's been unbelievable. It's probably the best footy I've seen him kind of put together in a while and his body's feeling really good and, you know, his head's really good. So. Um, like I said, we have a really healthy list and I think it's just exciting to play alongside them. And for my own personal expectation, like for me, it's not about kicking 50 goals. We can have three or four players kick 30 goals. You know, it's great representation of the system we're trying to build.
No, I think we'll be able to hit it yeah, reasonably hard. Like I said, we've been training um, together, working together, watching vision together. What the dynamic might look like, I don't know, because there's, um, yeah, it's really competitive. But uh, I am really excited to, you know, to get to, to the games and, um, of course, round one. Who's that, sorry? Oh, Todd. Yeah, no, Todd's great. He's, um, you know, obviously Drapes is, um, again, he's building up slowly. So Todd's probably, you know, he's the one who's leading us on the track at the moment in, in terms of the ruck uh, spot. But Todd's been great. Obviously, he's worked underneath Brad, so he knows, you know, Brad's game plan a little bit and he's been able to educate players. Um, we've got young Vig, who's running around with him as well, and Nick Bryan. He's been a really good kind of mentor for those two players. And, um, again, he'll be helping out Drapes and... You know, he might be on the older end of the spectrum, but there's no denying, like, he's here to play. And um, I think we'll definitely see him play throughout the year. Well, we want, we want Drapes to, yeah, again, have a really good year. We don't want him to kind of be in and out of the team with injuries. Um, so, again, we're, we're I think they're taking their time with him. Whether it's round one, round two, or round six, it doesn't really matter because, yeah, we do have an experienced ruckman um, to kind of help out. So, oh, I've got no idea, mate. I'm not a physio. Um, but, you know, he's working hard and he's building up. Uh, and, like I said, we've still pro probably got what, five or six weeks until round one, and a lot can change between now and then. Um, but, again, it is a, it's a long year. So, we'll get him right and then we'll get him out there. Again, it's, uh, I guess, the stability around the football club. Um, there's no denying that it really helps us. And again, it's going to help us build on what we learnt last year, um, both the positives and negatives. But the message is just to kind of double down on what we learnt in terms of our, um, our strategy. And again, we're building a new culture around here. He's brought in some great heads in, in David Rath and Ben Robbins who are able to help him, uh, which has been uh, really good, really refreshing uh, for us players.